The question is, would continuous use of a vibrator desensitize the clitoris or any body part for that matter? And the answer is no. What actually happens is that our brains are creatures of habit. And when something feels good, our brain starts to associate the thing that feels good with the thing that made it feel good. And it connects these little synapses and connections that remind us that this thing makes our brain feel good and our body feel good. So it wants that thing over and over. So, you know, your body just kind of gets used to it. One way to help not get used to something is to change it up, change positions, change sensations, use your hand instead, do different things so that your body keeps being excited and wants to try new things. First off, let's get something straight. I'm a sexuality and pleasure educator. I'm not a medical professional. I am not a pelvic floor physical therapist. I am, however, a first time mom who has attended sessions with a pelvic floor physical therapist. And even though I was a sex educator for a long time and I knew all about Kegels and Kegel exercises, I knew that I didn't have all of the technique down pat, right? When I started attending pelvic floor physical therapy, I learned that there's so much more to it than what we're taught. Most of the time, people think that all it's about is clenching the muscles and strengthening those muscles this way, but there's also real importance in learning how to relax those muscles, and that's something that we can't always do on our own. So seek medical advice before trying to do it on your own.